First Lady of the United States of America, Michelle Obama, visited South Africa from the 20th to the 23rd of June 2011. She was accompanied by her mother, two daughters, niece and nephew. Mrs. Obama's visit is intended to inspire and empower young women on the continent. She started her visit by paying a courtesy call to South Africa's First Lady, Ms. Nompumelelo Zuma, at the presidential residence in Pretoria. The two First Ladies shared their common views and interests in uplifting the lives of women and children. Ms. Obama addressed young and potential leaders at the historic Regina Mundi Church in Soweto. Michelle Obama encouraged the youth to show leadership by identifying opportunities where they can make a contribution in helping the needy and the vulnerable. What legacy will you leave for your children and your grandchildren? What generation will you be? ask these questions of young people in any country on any continent, but there is a reason why I wanted to come here to South Africa to speak with all of you. As my husband has said, Africa is a fundamental part of our interconnected world, and when it comes to the defining challenges of our times, creating jobs in our global economy, promoting democracy and development, confronting climate change, extremism, poverty, and disease. For all this, the world is looking to Africa as a vital partner. That is why my husband's administration is not simply focused on extending a helping hand to Africa, but focusing on partnering with Africans who will shape their future by combating corruption and building strong democratic institutions by growing new crops, caring for the sick. And more than ever before, we will be looking to all of you, our young people, to lead the way. And I'm not just saying that to make you all feel good. <laughs> the fact is that in Africa, people under 25 make up 60% of the population. And here in South Africa, Nearly two-thirds of citizens are under the age of 30. So over the next 20 years, the next 50 years, our future will be shaped by your leadership. Mrs. Obama also paid tribute to the heroes and heroines of the freedom struggle in South Africa. As you hear the stories of lions like Madiba and Sisulu and Lutuli, you may think that you can never measure up to such greatness. But while today's challenges might not always inspire the lofty rhetoric or the high drama of struggles past, the injustices at hand are no less glaring. The human suffering no less acute. So make no mistake about it, there are still so many causes worth sacrificing for. There is still so much history yet to be made. You can be the generation that makes the discoveries and builds the industries that will transform our economies. You can be the generation that brings opportunity and prosperity to forgotten corners of the world and banishes hunger from this continent forever. You can be the generation that ends HIV AIDS in our time, the generation that fights not just the disease, but the stigma of the disease, the generation that teaches the world that HIV is fully preventable and treatable and should never be a source of shame. 
you, you can be the generation that holds your leaders accountable for open, honest government at every level. Government that stamps out corruption and protects the rights of every citizen to speak freely, to worship openly, to love whomever they choose. You can be the generation to ensure that women are no longer second-class citizens, that girls take their rightful places in our schools. You can be the generation that stands up and says that violence against women in any form, in any place, including the home, especially the home, that isn't just a women's rights violation, it's a human rights violation and it has no place in any society. You see, that is the history that your generation can make. 